Howdy music fans, thanks for joining me for another uh, Unsung Heroes video. Today we're going to look at a country singer from Canada named um, Corb Lund. He is from Alberta, Canada. This is him now. Quite a guitar player. Some real rockin' country, rootsy, traditional country type stuff. Uh, and he's a great songwriter. Let's get started. First is with the Corb Lund band, Unforgiving Mistress. And I got stumbled onto him, um, or I stumbled onto him when he played the bar where I worked, a little dive bar here in Seattle. And uh, we had bands there. My band played lots and lots of other bands. And uh, he played there one time. He came through, and my goodness, he was incredible. Um, and this was when he had probably this album, Unforgiving Mistress, and this one, Five Dollar Bill. That's actually, I think, how I got both of them. I think I bought them both at that show that he played our bar. This one's a traditional, though, this song. Time to switch to whiskey. We've been drinking beer all night. It's called Rye Whiskey. Sings a lot about card playing. It sings a lot about horses. Um, a lot about horses. Um, sings, I got, got, he's got a lot of good story songs. Um, just a great songwriter. And pretty much he writes everything. There's a couple of songs here and there on each album that he might have co-written. Uh, but he hasn't... Um, he doesn't really do covers. This is called Hair in My Eyes Like a Highland Steer. And this is notable because Ian Tyson is on it, Ramblin' Jack Elliott is on it, and Kenny Vaughn of, of Lucinda Williams fame is on it. Always a lot of great guitar playing. And from here on out, he does all the he puts lyrics in all of his books. Um, so those first two albums were with uh, the Corblun band, and now from now on, it's with the Hurton Albertans. <laughs> from there on, and these are still on Stony Plain. But pretty soon after this next album, I think yeah, after this album, he hits it big with a um, a label. This is called Horse Soldier, Horse Soldier. And every one of these albums has some real rock and country songs like this. Couple of sometimes some rock and roll, and some and of course a ballad or two, but they're usually pretty upbeat. He definitely also he, he toys with that Waylon sound a lot, really really well. He's really good at that. He's a great songwriter with a good sense of humor, and he was a really nice guy when he played um, our bar, the bar that I worked at. And now he is on uh, New West, so that's a pretty big label, um, you know, as small labels go. This is called Losing Lately Gambler. This has a song that he, he dedicates to Willie P. Bennett, who is a famous uh, Canadian songwriter, singer-songwriter, that a lot of Canadian artists know and like. And he's one of these guys that repeats a lot of his songs over the recordings. My guess is because, you know, on the first couple of albums, he had great songs, but they didn't get the best treatment because he didn't have the, the money or the best band or whatever. And so he does uh, do some of them over, I'd say at least close to 10 of them probably he does over in other albums, on other album, later albums. This is one of them he does twice. Um, this one's called Cabin Fever. But I think this is an older version of the song. This is called Gonna Shine Up My Boots. Great pedal steel or lap steel. Actually, that's the thing that surprises me. I look on all these albums and almost all of them say lap steel. Um, his band, the Hurton Albertans, don't have a pedal steel. They have a lap steel. They often has, have guests, so it's got to be some pedal steel on here. Or it's a hell of a lap steel player. That's, yeah, that's got to be pedal steel. This is Counterfeit Blues, which is a song title um, from another album from one of his older songs. And then it's on, I think it's on this one too. Let's see, is this one redone here? Yeah, it's the first song. And then he's got um, Truck Got Stuck. That is a great song, and that's redone. This has got Shine Up My Boots. 
Um, hair in my ear, my hair in my eyes like a Highland steer. It's on this one too. Um, Five dollar bill is on this, and Big Butch baseball fiddle is on this. Um, yeah, he is just spectacular. I am really impressed with him. He's a great songwriter. His other album, oh now I'm forgetting the name of it, um, is also pretty good. It's a little bit different. A little bit. The first song sounds kind of R&B-ish, but the rest of them are, are pretty country. And there's one beautiful song in there called S. Lazy H about trying to work for his farm, uh, you know, before it's taken by the bank kind of thing. Um, and then another one on there about a washed up rock star who tells all of the people at the warehouse or wherever he works, you know, so long suckers, and then he's got to go back and work with them. It's pretty funny. Here's that Waylon beat. Might even have the same effect on the guitar as, as Waylon, that phaser effect or whatever it's called. So if you like his singing voice, you're in for some fantastic great country songs um, in the real traditional rootsy sense of real you know good country nice production uh, and a good solid solid band I highly recommend him I think he's a great songwriter I would rec I would go for you know this is this came out in 2020 this will be in my end of year video and it's fantastic this is called agricultural tragic sorry I didn't say that before uh, Counterfeit Blues is excellent. That's his one before that. And Cabin Fever is really great also. So I would go for those last three or even Losing Lately Gambler. Anything on New West, I think, is he really gets into this much better production. These are, you know, the first four are great albums, um, but they're just a little more, a little, a little rougher. That's all. But they are good. So I highly recommend Core Blund. Check them out if you already have heard of them or know anything about them. I'd love to hear about it. Or if you like them, if you listen to them because of this video and you end up liking them, please tell me. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks so much. Have a good day.